Hi guys, welcome back. I'm super excited about this video today because I will finally show you how I've been organizing and keeping all of my digital stickers on my iPad. Now I'm using a brand new app called Stixer and I'm gonna show you this is what the icon looks like. It's like a colored flower. And the reason why I'm so happy using this app is that, well, first of all, it looks super cute when you organize your stickers because you have the chance to see like a preview of each of your sections or folders and you have an unlimited amount of folders. This app works a little bit like the Files app where you can create multiple folders and then insert images images into each of those folders. This app works exclusively with images, so anything that's in image format, whether it's JPEG or PNG, and it keeps transparency at all times. I'm actually going to quickly turn on dark mode just so that you can see what it looks like. So let's go to dark mode. And as you can see, my stickers are not affected. That's one of the really awesome features about uh, this app. Now here, for example, my sticker was black, so you can't see it anymore, but for most of them, you can use either the regular mode or the dark mode and it's gonna look good. I'm gonna go back to the light mode. Okay, so I've been asked multiple times what's the best way to keep and organize your stickers. If you have started with digital planning and you've been doing it for a while, then it's likely that you have a ton of resources and files and stickers, you know, saved everywhere in different places. So I want to tell you today what way I think is a good option to do this. And I just want to mention there are several ways and I just feel the need to show you different ways today. I will speak about how to organize stickers by shop. I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna flip my iPad this way. Okay, so I have three sample shops. You know, these are real shops actually, but yeah, just to show you how this would work. Now, just keep in mind, I will make a separate video showing you step-by-step -step how to create folders, how to use the features of this app. It's really simple, really, but I will dedicate, you know, a whole video just to show you all of those steps. For now, I just want you to like understand the concept of how I divide and sort my stickers. By the way, this includes, you know, stickers, widgets, and my covers too. I'm gonna keep all of them in this app. And this method would always work in the Files app, so if you like the method and, you know, you, you're using the Files app, you are free to use uh, that app instead. It's gonna work the same way. So, here I have three folders, one per store, and one of my favorite features of this app is that you can create a cover for the folder. So this first one I'm gonna show you, it's from the shop Digitalizarte. These are on Etsy and it's a very like special style of like clip art. Most of the items of this shop are Mexican theme and this is just subsections that I have created. So I have my shop folder and then I have these sections which are kind of the theme, right? So the first one is food. The second one is Day of the Dead, or you could have something like, you know, holiday. Then I have this one that says Fiesta, which is like celebration, mariachi, moons, and wood. And when I tap on each of the categories, then you can see that the stickers that are inside are related to this, okay? So if I click on moons, and I can see like a big moon here, I open my folder and I have a bunch of moons, okay? If I go to food, then I have all these food items. Now, why I'm going to just recommend this app from now on is because you can use it with any uh, note-taking app, okay? So, for example, I have my stickers here. I just dragged it into Notability, okay? So I have my sticker here ready to be edited with my Apple Pencil, moved around, etc. You can also use, for example, I have Zoom Notes here, so I'm just gonna bring my app side by side in a split screen view. And let's go to something else, for example, Mariachi. And then I can just pull in this cute guy over here. This is Zoom Notes and I can use my sticker on here. I can also go to Notes Shelf. Let me just show you, I bring Stixer up here. Let's go to Day of the Dead and let's do this candle here. Oh, it was placed here on the side. And yeah, so that's why 
you do all the effort to create your sticker albums and organize your stickers once and then you can use for any app so if you decide to use a different app later on then you can do that and then again as i said i'm using elements from different shops and they don't necessarily neither digital uh, digitalizarte nor papeles digitales these two shops that i'm gonna link below if you want to check them out they do not sell any files in like good notes format or anything else other than clip art format which is you know pngs this particular shop papeles digitales they sell papers right so digital papers so they actually come in jpeg format it's um, a little different but it works the same way and yeah so that was my first shop now i'm gonna move on to papeles digitales and here i also have my categories so each category is a pack okay so you buy these packs separately and this one i think it was called fiesta that's what it has that name i don't know how many of you guys do digital papers but i want to show you a trick really quick to use a cover to add a cover to any folder in this app all you have to do whoops is tap on this star icon shown on top of the image so if i go back you'll see that the cover changed i hope you can see so this image here is just a little edit that I did of this purple paper only because I wanted to zoom in a little bit so I can see the pattern better when I'm outside and when I'm gonna be selecting which category I want to see. So I just want to show you how to do that super fast. So for example I have my kawaii papers here and I want to let's say make this paper a little bigger you can't even tell what it is but it's actually some kawaii clouds so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna bring my photos app side by side and then here i'm just going to drag the paper i want to use which was this one okay drop it in my photos app now touch on it to click on edit then go to your crop icon here okay and all i do is like zoom in until i can tell what this is so the area that is cropped is going to be the cover for my folder so i just click on done okay great now I have to go back to the miniatures view to tap and drag because you're not able to do it from the full view. So go back to the miniatures and then from here just tap and drag, whoops, a little faster onto my app. Okay, and then I'll have that image here. I can close my photos app now. And then as you can see, I have added this image that really will only serve as um, the purpose of you know showing us a cover for this particular folder. So now I can see the paper a lot bigger and actually tell what this folder is about. Again, I'll make a separate video showing you how you can use these um, digital papers for digital planning. Obviously, that's what this channel is about. So don't worry, I'll explain why I'm even using these. But just know that that's uh, how I keep them. And well, I only have a few. I make them myself too. And actually, Printstick offers a few as well. So I'm going to link below all of this if you're interested to check it out. And I do have a couple of videos showing you how to use digital paper. So I'm going to link those below as well. Finally, moving on to how I've been organizing the stickers of print stick, of course. And here it is. This is not the totality of them, but it's a good bunch. And I just want to explain what this is all about. So all of these folders that you see here, and by the way, to know what a folder is, you'll see that there's letters or writing underneath the image, okay? So this is gonna show you, for example, if I open this set, you can see these are images. Why? Because they have a star that is what will allow you to select the cover, okay? So this little star that turns yellow when you tap on it, that's how you know this is an image and also because there's no text underneath okay so images do not have any titles or text or any distractions another awesome feature of this app and as you can see all of these are folders because they have their title right here okay underneath the image so up here i have my sticker books and this is not all of them i haven't uploaded all of them yet but i have you know a few here and i'm actually going to show you today how to add one in just a minute but after my sticker books i have my sets and the difference between the sticker books and the sets well the sticker books are can be quite big some of them even have more than 3,000 stickers the ones uh, at print stick and the sets usually have anywhere from like 10 to around 40 stickers the biggest ones but it's usually a lot less uh, stickers than a sticker book right 
So normally I would say that the sticker sets do not need to be divided into categories. They can just be a folder of their own. Whereas the sticker books, I do recommend dividing them into categories. Then I keep going down and I have my widgets. And one little trick I'm using to organize these is that I added a W ahead of any title of my widgets because I wanted this to be at the end, right? So I want my sticker books first. So I added an A before the title of the sticker book. So here, as you can see, it says A and then CSB1, which stands for color sticker book one. Then I have color sticker book two, three, pro sticker book, spring sticker book, etc. And my sets are just labeled whatever they are. And at the very last, I have my covers and I just added the letter Z to make sure that it went right to the bottom because these are the items that I use less often. What I use most is my stickers and sticker books, so I wanted those to be at the top. Okay, cool. So these covers that you see here, I actually just made them to use in this app specifically. And if you are ever interested in getting these, I'm happy to share them. So let me know if you'd like to have the covers of these books. If you use these books, you might want to also add a cover. I think it looks really cute. And I kind of forgot to mention that this app has its own, you know, default cover image. And that's actually a purple cover, like the one you see here, which is really awesome too. You know, I love purple, so it's perfect for me. But I think it's so amazing that you can choose your own covers and really customize this view. And in my opinion, it looks like your own sticker book, you know? But as I said, it's flexible. You can use it with multiple apps. Now, I want to show you how my sticker books are organized. And well, first I'll show you this one, which is a spring sticker book. This is a particularly large sticker book. It has over a thousand stickers. So what I did is I just added all of them like to this same folder so they're arranged you know by name so they keep you know the theme for example i can tell that here i have my easter theme stickers and i have my father's day stickers and so on and so on then i have a ton of icons but ideally what you want to do is to create more folders to put inside of this sticker book and then further organize the sticker so you can find them easier, right? Because if you're using your planner and then you want to come back here to find a sticker, you have to like scroll through thousands or a thousand stickers until you find the one you want. So what I do, and I'm, I will show you, is I create subfolders or subcategories okay so this is my color sticker book one again it's easy to recognize what each one of these is because of the cover uh, image okay so in good notes and i want to show you this real quick i have all of my elements that i use in good notes format saved here okay so this is a single big category and i keep this is my pro planner, the one that I use most often. I have other planners that I use sometimes and the rest of the items are sticker books. So as you can see, for example, this is the color sticker book two and let me open Stixer. Here you have color sticker book two. So the image that I have created is exactly the same colors as the original sticker album that you get in the download. So in my case, I have been using these versions on GoodNotes for a long time. So I know that this light, you know, mint color is the color sticker book two. And I kind of know what stickers are included there. That's why to me, it's important to keep these covers to easily recognize what you're looking for and make your life a lot easier. Here I have my color sticker book one. This is a color sticker book one. I have another file that keeps my covers. I'm gonna open it here, okay? So again, if you're just using GoodNotes, as I've said in all of my other videos, you want this GoodNotes version, which is already included in the downloads at printstickshop.com. So you can just, you know, lasso these, copy them and add them to the other files within GoodNotes. So your planner or, you know, any other document that you want. But now here, as you can see, I have saved my covers as well. Again, these are not organized in subfolders. I still need to do that, but I have them all here. And it's awesome because from here they can go to GoodNotes. For example, I'm just going to bring it here, right? Or it can go into any other app. Okay, so going back to how I organize my sticker books, these subsections are actually based on what the GoodNotes sticker book originally looks like. So let me open the color sticker book one. Here we go. So I will go to my index here. So as you can see, these categories are the same as the ones I have here. So I have this one that says frames, banners, circle labels. That's this one that's called frame, banners and circles. Then I tap there and let's go here. 
you, I have the same stickers in both my GoodNotes sticker book, which is ready to use in GoodNotes only, and I also have it in this section that I created in the Stixer app, okay? And I could number all of these categories if I wanted to have the exact same order as I do here, but I don't think it really matters. It's even easier for me to just be like, oh, this is an icon, so this must be the icon section, right? Or this is like the bird from Twitter, so this must be the, my social icons. Oh, or this is where my checklists are. And then I open the section and it's the same as this one here. I have my headers and I have my checklist. So my checklist and my headers right here. Now, if you already have any sticker book or sticker set, widget library, or even cover download from PrintStick, you will already have the PNGs required to create your folders in this Stixer app. Okay, so yeah, this is what my sticker books look like. I have my badges, this is my sticker, color sticker book 2, and it has all these sections of so badges, banners, checkboxes, circles, color sets, etc. I have my letters, neatly organized here. I have my frames, and you can create as many sections as you want. For example, here I think that I would create another folder, and then I would label it, you know, black letters, and then colorful letters gray letters and so on and then it would be even easier to find what I'm looking for but this is pretty good already so yes this is how you can organize stickers by shop really stickers or elements because as I showed you before I have stickers I have digital papers I have covers all of it organized neatly by shop this is of course the print stick the one that I have most elements of and of course check out my next video where I will show you what to do when you buy a new set or you download a new sticker book how to add it to your categories here all right guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this little intro to sticker organization using the Stixer app if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and turn on the notifications so you know when the new video is out Thank you so much, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.